Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And I'm looking over at my stuff, but hi. Today, I am going to be doing a Walmart haul, like you can see from the title. So I did a Costco haul last month during How To Be Happy January, and so many of you guys requested that I keep doing more grocery hauls, but that I do them from other places. And specifically, I got a lot of requests for Walmart or for like other places that are just like geared towards being on a budget. And Walmart used to be one of my favorite grocery stores, especially when I was tighter on cash. And the cool thing is that as time has gone on, Walmart's produce and all of their just like food options in general have really like risen and gone up. They've really stayed like up to date with like, I don't even know what you'd call it, like health trends, the whole organic movement. Um, not everything I got is organic and I'm just gonna kind of like take you through and show you everything I got. Um, at least everything I got. There are some things that like Dan picked out that he eats that I'm not gonna share, not that you needed to know that. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna hop right Oop, cute burping in. All right, so the first thing I got from the produce section is this bag of organic whole carrots. And I wanna say this bag ran close to like $3 or something like that. Um, but it's cool because they really do. They have so many organic options now at Walmart. Um, like I'd say probably 30%, 40% of their produce, you can find organic depending on the store. I know obviously like each store across the US is different. Um, but yeah, I got these organic and I'll end up using these to grate in salad, to put in some soups if I end up making chili. Um, we'll kind of see and whatever I don't use, I'm gonna end up freezing because like if I can't use it before it goes bad, I've tried to get much better about freezing stuff over the last couple of months. Oh, hi. You wanna say hello? Say hello. Hi. Um, so yeah, organic carrot. I eat a lot of onions. I cook with onions all of the time. Last night I made Dan and I um, a little like scrambled eggs for dinner and I chopped up and stir fried onions first till they like kind of got clear, a little caramelized or whatever. And then I threw in some yellow heirloom tomato at the end just to kind of like um, what would you even call it? Like quickly stir fry that before I added in some eggs and cheese. But point being, I use onions for like everything all the time. Soups, dips, you know, like salsa, guacamole, salad, stir fries, all kinds of things. So they had a big bag of organic yellow onions. Now I haven't bought plain yellow onions in so long. I always buy either purple onions or sweet onions. Side note, they smell amazing. I could actually like just, I was standing here, I'm like, is that the onions? They smell amazing. Um, and yeah, organic. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick these ones up. I think these were the only organic onions they had were just like the yellow ones. Ooh, I was excited about this. Now these were a little pricey, let me just say that. But they were actually the same price as the avocados that were literally half their size, half this size, and they were not organic. But they had these huge organic avocados. They're giant, that's the size of my hand. And the other ones that were the same price, which I wanna say these ran like 350 per avocado. Avocados are not cheap, but I love them. I kind of tend to eat them like crazy. I have very low cholesterol, to those of you that don't know, so I, um, tend to be pretty like generous with healthier fats. So I love my avocado. Anyways, um, they're not ripe yet, but we did get three of them and I'm just gonna stick them in that cupboard because if you don't know this, a good way to ripen avocados is to stick them either in like a brown paper bag or like I do just in a dark cupboard and it really helps them ripen. So I also grabbed some organic grape tomatoes because I'm using tomatoes for everything all the time. Like I said, whether it's last night in eggs, although I used um, an heirloom tomato that I had, a yellow one, um, but I'll put them in eggs, I'll put them in sandwiches, salads, um, um, I'll roast them, I'll use them for soups. I eat tomatoes all the time, I'll make pico de gallo. So I just figured I'd pick up another container while it was there. And like I said, it's nice because these are organic. It's not a very full container, um, as you can see, but, oh, and there's one tomato that I'm gonna have to cut off half of it. But the rest of them all look really good. Okay, so not organic, but I picked up a big head of yellow spring onions. I use those same thing for lots of things. Sometimes I'll put those in guacamole or salsa or eggs or salads um, or soups or stir fries, just like all the things all the time. 
Um, I also got two poblano peppers and these look like this. Mm-hmm. Mm, that smells so good. Zoe, no. Mm, that smells amazing. And I don't know, I might end up having Dan smoke this on the smoker and then we might make some salsa out of it. Or this could be a main part of my stir fry with maybe like some mushrooms and onions and I could make it into like taco filling um, or with eggs once again or soup. I feel like I keep repeating all of the same things, but you get the gist. Um, or I could stuff them with like some kind of like cheese mixture and bake them. But um, yeah, poblano peppers. Mm, I got poblano or I was first exposed to poblano peppers through HelloFresh. They had them in like a Mexican meal. And once I made them, I was like, oh my gosh, poblano peppers. What have I been missing out on? So now I buy poblano peppers like fairly regularly-ish. Um, I also got a box of white mushrooms because white mushrooms are amazing. They're not organic, but I don't even know if I've ever seen organic mushrooms. Like, I don't know if that's a thing, but white mushrooms for the win. Then I got three jalapenos and these jalapenos, like they look amazing. And I am growing my own jalapenos. If you saw my tower garden diary that I put up last week, it was my second tower garden diary. You know that we had quite the harvest of jalapenos and our plant was thriving until we were hit with the great, I don't even know what you call it, tower garden infestation of 2018. It was horrible. So I'll be waiting a little while for my own jalapenos in the backyard or my tower garden. Um, and I eat jalapenos like crazy. So I picked up four more and I already had some in the fridge. Oh, and the last thing I got in this bag, um, I picked up some fresh ginger because I'm not a ginger fan, but I know ginger is so good for you. So I'm going to start trying to drink like these warm drinks in the morning that consist of grated ginger and lemon juice and a little warm water. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to pick up some ginger because I want to give that a try. So I got one bunch of organic bananas um, right here. And then I got a second bunch of bananas that were not organic apparently, but I like to chop these up and keep them frozen in my freezer. Um, but I had been out for a while and I just kept forgetting to buy more bananas. I love bananas mostly for smoothies and that's why I chop them up and I freeze them. And they're great not only to add to any smoothie combination because they make any smoothie combo you're gonna make um, creamier, but also what I really like about bananas is it can kind of substitute as like the vanilla base. So if you're wanting to make like a chocolate smoothie or a chocolate peanut butter smoothie, which is my favorite, um, it's a great base because you're not getting like, I don't know, it's not messing with those flavors. Not that berry and chocolate and berry and peanut butter aren't good, but if you're just really wanting that like chocolate peanut butter taste and you just need like a vanilla kind of base, that's what I like bananas for. So I'm excited to chop them up and get them frozen because I've been craving one of those smoothies for a while and I was actually gonna get one today. I was gonna pick one up somewhere and then I realized I didn't bring my wallet and I'm like, okay, just need to get the stuff to make it at home. It'll be cheaper that way anyway, so yeah. Okay, so um, I picked something up for baking and this was kind of cool to see at Walmart. There's a brand called Enjoy Life, eat freely. And they tend to make like, um, well, they call themselves America's number one allergy friendly baking chocolate. And it is dairy, nut, and soy free. So I love baking with this brand, whether it's in like, chocolate chip cookies or chocolate muffins or sometimes even like smoothies like I was mentioning. I like to use cacao nibs mostly for my smoothies but sometimes something like this works if you're in a pinch and so I was excited that, that um, not Costco, that Walmart had this um, and all it is is just unsweetened chocolate and cane sugar but um, yeah. Um, then I got a head of cilantro which I thought that this cilantro looked really bizarre like the shape of the leaf looks different but um, it smells good and it looked a lot better than the cilantro I actually saw yesterday at Kroger. So not organic, but um, not everything I eat is organic. Pretty much the way that I eat is the goal and the strive would be organic, but I can't always afford that depending on, you know, budgeting for that time of the year or month or the store that I'm at or the price or the availability. Um, I just kind of like, you know, 
give it a good effort and kind of just see where everything else lands. I feel like that's all you can do in life. So, um, and I'm like backtracking because I'm realizing someone in the comments might be like, that's not true. You could do a lot more than that, but that's kind of like my philosophy. Okay, so um, I did have to pick up some spices while I was there. So Dan and I actually both picked up a bunch of spices. So I got some organic ground cinnamon. I have been wanting to make um, a few different things. Well, first off, random recipes that I've been pulling, like chili and stuff like that, I've been calling for cinnamon. And I don't feel like I love cinnamon, but I also feel like I'm ready to give it a try again and see why some of these recipes are calling for cinnamon. Um, also, I want to try to make some baked apples with cinnamon, so I got some organic cinnamon. Um, I also purchased some rosemary leaves. I'm in the process of trying to like germinate and grow my own rosemary indoors in my tower garden upstairs, but if and when that ever happens, it's gonna be a while, and my fresh rosemary plant, I had died, so I was like, you know what, I just wanna have like some dried rosemary on hand just in case I want it. Um, this is one of Dan's seasonings he got. He got this Texas style barbecue, like organic seasoning, but I don't know what he's doing with this. Um, but we did buy quite a few seasonings today because a lot of our seasonings have, like they're either expired or they're about to expire. So we're gonna start changing them out. Okay, so I got about six cans of these diced tomatoes and green chilies. Um, now I buy salsa pre-made at the store, but I also really like to make my own salsa. And this brand, it's really good. It makes for some really good salsa and it's non-GMO. The liner on the can is a non-BPA liner. So um, yeah, I bought about six cans. Now I have a lot of canned tomatoes right now because, and you guys will see this video probably this month, um, would be my guess. But Dan and I are actually working on setting up our pantry slash like emergency storage. Not to get like too deep into this right now, but whatever. Um, I've always wanted a pantry, but then in the last like month or two, um, the Department of Homeland Security here in the US announced, like they put out an announcement or an advisory, advisory or whatever, that they want each family to have on hand at least two weeks worth of um, food and water. And it's because I guess they're like sensing that there's serious threats to the power grid. So because of that, combined with the fact that like, I just don't like the idea of like, stuff happens places, like all over the world, stuff goes down, severe winters, you know, war, power stuff. And I don't like the idea of like not being able to take care of myself. So even though ultimately we trust God, we still wanna do our part. So we're working on setting up our pantry. So I have a ton of canned tomatoes, but the way that I see it is I'm gonna to wanna to keep that stocked, not just like use all of what I have because it needs to be there as an emergency. So I bought six to eight cans of these, I think. I feel like that was that was definitely a lot, but um, hey, if you didn't know all that, now you know. We did buy some avocado oil. I actually don't think we needed this because I think we have a bunch, but we weren't positive, so we were like, Let's just get some just in case. We love avocado oil. If you didn't know, it has a higher flash point, I think it's called, or smoke point, um, which means you don't really want your oils to turn into smoke when you're cooking, because they become carcinogenic, basically. And avocado oil can take a lot more heat um, than like an olive oil can before it smokes. So um, we picked some up. I, I don't know if this is good quality. My guess is probably not, but now we have it just in case we were out of avocado oil. Ooh, okay, so I had a funny conversation with the woman at Walmart when I was checking out um, because I picked up two kombuchas. So let me first talk about these. I got Trilogy, which is my favorite flavor from Synergy. And then I got this Watermelon Wonder just because I've never tried it. And I was like, that sounds good to try. The conversation I had with the lady was she was talking about how gross kombucha is. She's like, you like that? And then I was like, yeah, I'm actually, I bought a kit to make my own kombucha. And she was like, you look like you're into weird stuff like that. <laughs> she didn't say stuff either, but I'm not gonna say that on the internet. I was like, lady, you have no idea. As I like clutched a video camera underneath my arm because I was filming at Walmart. So um, yeah, mm. they had a ton of kombucha and like green juices and stuff there too, just saying. So I also picked up two dozen, so I have a second box over there, um, organic, 
free range chicken, chickens, eggs. Um, that's a side note. Dan and I have officially decided recently that we want to get eggs at some point. We're pretty sure. So it's not really official, but I love the idea of like getting my own eggs. Anyways, we didn't do that today. Picked them up from Walmart. I love eggs, by the way. I love them in omelets. Like I love scrambled eggs. I like hard boiled eggs. Um, you guys know that I don't really eat meat, but I do like eggs. So everything else that's here is stuff that um, Dan picked up for, oh, hi, for around the kitchen. So I'm gonna go put all that away right now. My, my hair is so messy because I braided it in like five minutes this morning before Pilates, maybe even less than that. On a side note, I am filming a day in my life video today. So if you wanna come back and check that out, I'm still trying to upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, even though Happy Happy January is done. And I almost debated doing a theme in February too. I've done it before, Falling in Love February. But I don't know, I was really on the fence. So I'd love to know from you guys, by the way, if you like it when I do themes. I'm always torn. I'm like, should I do themes? But then I'm like, all my videos are kind of themed and they're all kind of part of the same theme. So I get torn. Anyways, I will see you guys back here very soon with another new video. And yeah, say bye, Zoe. Bye. Say bye. Bye. God, you're so cute.